All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Stomper B. Thompson. This video is just a little bit of an update on my injury. Well, we don't have a complete diagnosis yet. I'm still waiting on getting an MRI, getting that looked at. We took additional x-rays on my shoulder, so those are gonna be looked at as well. And then I'll have a follow-up follow up with the ortho here in a couple weeks to get a full determination of exactly what is wrong with my shoulder. Um, this is my first major shoulder injury. Still uh, 14 days out, as it says in the title. And so I don't really know what an AC joint separation feels like um, when it initially happens, nor during the recovery process. The weirdest thing that's happening right now is every time I yawn, especially at nighttime, uh, some sort of like a tendon or a joint in the front of the shoulder just like twinges real bad. So uh, in this video, I just want to say thanks for uh, thanks for continuing to tune in. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, I've got a lot of videos planned that I want to do with the Tundra, with my Yamaha Grizzly. Uh, I am looking at switching up bikes this year for a race season, next season, assuming I'll be 100% and ready to go. So that could be really interesting. Um, I, I bought an e-bike that I want to make a video about, but I can't exactly like safely ride that thing right now. So in this video, I just want to share with you, hopefully briefly, I tend to run on a little bit about the shoulder injury. So uh, my previous video was of the crash. Um, it's It was pretty lame. I was just going around a corner, slippery roots, too much front brake, went off the front end of it, of the bike there. And then uh, first thing that landed was my shoulder. So again, first time with a major shoulder injury. So I didn't really know what was wrong. Um, I was able to ride out of the woods because I could still move my elbow and I could use my wrist and my fingers just fine. So I was able to, you know, finger throttle out of there. And um, I got back to the ambulance. Uh, my good friend John loaded up my bike for me. Everything was secure. All I had to do was get out of my dirt bike boots and into my walking shoes, which was horrible. Um, I basically had no shoulder movement at that time. So I didn't have any access to like any Tylenol or ibuprofen or anything to even like take a little bit of that pain away. But got my shoes on, got into the driver's seat because the options were go to the hospital at the race or get home, which I, I kind of had to do. So I, I elected to drive home, no medication. Obviously they wouldn't give me anything unless they were taking me to the hospital. So I'm driving home, it was about a three hour drive home. That was excruciating. Um, worst injury of my life by far. And then, so I get home, my, uh, my brother-in-law unloads my bike, my wife takes me to the hospital. And uh, so th there's where we kind of determined an AC joint separation. We only had an x-ray, so we couldn't exactly figure out anything else that's wrong, if there's any damage to the lay room or to the rotator cuff. But those first four days, if this just happened to you, those first four days, five days for me were excruciating. I could barely get into and out of a car. Taking a deep breath uh, hurt my shoulder really bad. So obviously you get some pain medication from the ER or if you go to see an ortho really quick. I recommend going to see an ortho pretty quick. Um, they're not gonna be able to do anything other than provide you with pain medication. So uh, depending on the severity, you know, if it's not too bad, if you got like a grade one or something, which is still gonna hurt like crazy, I assume, um, you know, maybe you don't need those heavier pain meds, but I'm off them now, so I'm just on a, a little bit of ibuprofen like at nighttime and some other type of like muscle relaxers to help me sleep and things. But yeah, so I get home and, and we go through all that. So now I'm just in the waiting phase. So um, exactly as my, my friend Rick told me, uh, he's a he's a doctor. He, he's seen these injuries all the time. He helps to treat them or at least the, uh, the physical therapy and the recovery process for these injuries. Um, you just kind of have to play the waiting game. Uh, so it's my pain level has been going down day by day minutely and my uh, mobility has been increasing. So for those first few days, this was it. Your arm was either down at your side 
or up in a sling. I still use a sling at least half the day, two thirds of the day. I try to. Um, that just gets really uncomfortable after a while, so you have to kind of let your arm down, let your tricep, you know, re relax a little bit too, and your other shoulder joints. I like to prop my arm up on something that helps a lot. So I, I'm in this recovery phase, and it's just it's kind of going really, really slow. I'm getting a lot of movement back. So those like day four, day five, I could barely lift my arm at a snail's pace any faster and it would uh, just twinge in severe pain so movement now is pretty good but it still fatigues very fast and there's certain movements I can't quite do yet so up up top is a very difficult movement uh, I don't really I don't really feel comfortable pushing it any more than that so the pain starts and then the fatigue and the weakness starts too so like if you put a one pound weight in my hand I feel like it would just drop to the floor. It's a very weird feeling. And then any motion across the body is also really weak. I also already notice some atrophy in my right arm, my dominant arm, compared to my left. That's just kind of a funny side note. Um, so yeah, movement is slowly but surely coming back. Pain is manageable, but it's just like extremely frustrating. I've got a seven month old baby. We've got pets. I have way too many hobbies um, so I'm trying to help my wife out as much as I possibly can um, she's been taking on a lot more of the workload here lately but um, so far I feel like there's certain movements I could do like I'm just, I'm just imagining getting back on the bike already um, so I'm just a little bit concerned about stability so I am going to show you the the nub here which is a bit weird I can push it down in there like a piano key almost I think that's why they want you in the sling as much as possible to promote any potential healing of that ligament in there so I'll just taking on and off a shirt is the worst I'm not doing this for any other reason than to uh, just show you yeah so that's hard hopefully you're you're non-injured arm has a good flexibility because you my left my non-injured arm is like fatigued all like the uh, stabilizing muscles and things because i just use it for everything now so there it is got a nice rounded lump i don't know how good that is showing up on camera but i don't know if that's going to be there permanently like i said i can kind of in certain positions I can kind of push the end of that clavicle down a little bit it's a little freaky looking it doesn't hurt so yeah that's basically it I'm hoping to make a full recovery um, surgery right now is looking unlikely and we'll see where it goes obviously I'm just concerned about I don't care how my shoulder looks at the end of the day I just can I'm concerned about Getting as much mobility back as possible with as little pain as possible, especially as I get into those uh, golden years. So thanks for watching, everybody.